Well, here I am again, and uh, yeah, we're at Hompton. As you can see, we've got colour in the water to about 300 yards, 250 yards, something like that. And then it's like the Mediterranean. Absolutely fantastic. Be great if it was like that and we could feather hair and catch mackerel and all sorts of species, wouldn't it? But what a place to be on a Friday, the 2nd of July. <coughs> Got down the cliff, but some motorbike has gone up the cliff and ruined the get down. So I shall be going up there with a bit of wood and scraping the steps out to make it a bit easier to get down. But I'm here at Hompton, I'm with Shane and Scott. Here's Shane. Say hello Shane everyone. Anyhow, Shane's picked me up two packs of uh, slaps as they're called, which are gutted black lug, not been frozen. And uh, he wouldn't let me pay for them, so thank you very much Shane, it's much appreciated. Um, there's one thing in life you come to realise as you get older, and it's when to not, when to shut up, keep offering to pay for stuff, because then it can take offence. And uh, yeah, you learn that in life. And uh, after I said twice to Shane, I'll, I'll give you some cash for them, and I realised that now, so thank you very much Shane, it's much appreciated. Um, Scott's given me an old rod for me to do up, um, looks all okay, needs some new eyes, and thank you very much Scott for that. Um, it's probably five rods down the list, because the next rod is my Vaselli, and then I'm going straight on to my Ziplex. So uh, my Ziplexes will be done then. There will be a video for that. Anyhow, I'm at Hompton. Um, I'm in a, quite a good frame of mind, to be honest. Not that I'm mental or anything, but I'm a good frame of mind because uh, now I'm here, I am looking forward to this because it's lovely. If you notice my face, briefly, I'll say something later on, it got burnt because I went to my secret fishing mark, which uh, you've seen now after this. So it ain't a secret anymore, is it? It's in the middle of the river umber. I pooed my pants at times. The quicksand there, you just started going down in it. Um, you do get a little bit of warning, but I'll talk about that later. Um, I'm here using my Icons M Sport Elite Powers. They're the Mark II versions with the glass tip. Um, hadn't had a problem yet, but it can always happen. But they did tell me if they're going to break, they'll do it straight away. So I've had to um, pen this up with, uh, excuse the pun. with my mag freeze because my fathoms are still out of use. One of them is anyhow. Um, I fitted the cog that I got from the supplier and he sent me the wrong cog. I couldn't put the side plate on. Tried to phone him this morning, left a message, hadn't had a reply back yet. He's a very busy man, um, always rushing about and uh, I will get a replacement. So. Uh, Let's get this checked out, shall we? All this waffling on and garbage. Um, yeah, and got to be happy, ain't I? Yeah. So I've got, to, I've got to put a false smile on because there's some people out there don't like people that moan. Well, you.
Yeah, so I was that concerned about the bloody clicker being on after the pen fathom balls up. I left my bail arm on, or the little finger release thing. So that's what that cocked up cast was, like a bloody numpty. But at least I didn't balls the clicker up. Then I cast it too far and I wasn't doing a red thump because I want it in short, so tide's going out, so it'll sort itself out once it. In a few minutes it'll be another yard clue further in. Out. In. I know what I mean. Right, anyhow, I shall get this one baited up and I shall bring you back. I won't bring you back. I shall be back in a bit. I'm just getting ready to cast my last rod out, but I've lost my scissors. Oh, they might be in my bag, actually. Um, we'll stick, yeah. I'm not doing anything fancy casting. I'm just getting used to the rods again. It's been quite a while since I broke my pen fathom one and uh, using these rods, so um, just want to get the feel for it and then I'll do some off the ground cast. Got the mags quite high up. Uh, um, well, I've got the mags half half on, and um, you can feel it when you cast out. You can feel it slowing down. So uh, I shall back them off a click, maybe two clicks each cast, and then once I've got used to that, I may put it on another click and do an off the ground cast and see what happens. Um, the off the ground cast won't be perfect because when you, what I figured is when I've practiced in the garden with a butt of a rod, when you then um, come here with a rod, it's totally different. You know, there's, it's good, it's good to practice in your garden, but the muscle memory just isn't there when you got the full rod, and then when you hit into it and you feel that weight, obviously that's something new that you ain't got any muscle memory for. So. But yeah, it certainly helps a lot. Um, figured on how to initiate the cast by moving the f your weight that's on your right foot onto your left foot. Anyhow, here we are at Hompton. High tide was two hours ago. So we're fishing it down, check the beach out. There will be a gully in front of us as far as I'm aware. <coughs> and then Fish the tide back up to high and down again. We're here all night. The time is two o'clock, just gone. Um, I've got lugworm and squid on one, and I've got, what have I got on that? I've got a prawn. So yeah, Mally, I've got a prawn on the right hand rod. Um, yeah, what to say, I've got lots to say, just don't know whether to say it. But yeah, I might just briefly talk about it later. But um, I want to try and get all the footage for this session on one card because I can pick this up and talk to it all day long. And uh, being there this long on a tide, I could easily fill up a couple of cards and Tom will just have a nightmare. So what I'm hoping for today is I'm hoping that I catch and the rest of them don't catch. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's not right. I'm going to catch, Shane's going to catch, and Scott will catch, because he always catches. Um, but yeah, if it is a long one, and there's quite a few fish in it, like a bucket full, you never know, it might just be split into a two-parter, which will help me out as well. So, Well, <coughs> Shane thinks he's got something on there. So we're coming down to have a look. I've got my hat on so I don't get sunburnt. Fed up looking like a tomato. Is there a fish on there? We just don't know, man. No? We just don't know, no. 
Are we open? No. Scott seems to think there is. No, it's not. It's come off. It's come off in the surf, you oh. That's weed. That's kelp. You can eat that. There's no fish. I'm claiming that. I'm having that. I'm going to wear that. No, I claimed that crab and someone told me, you, 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 no, you You're can't. No. You can have everything. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can have it. You can have it. I've claimed it. <laughs> yeah. If it's me. It. It. I couldn't have it. Right, so I've, I've put my coffee down and gulped my sandwich down and he ain't got a fish. The lugworm ain't even moving. Oh dear. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I've just put, just briefly, I've just put my eye drops, eye drops in fray fever. Thing is, I might have to go back to the van yet to get some tissue. I started building up with hay fever when I was doing my first cast, and uh, it took me a long while to get the second run out. Really, do you know what? I really do like them pen mag threes. I love the colour red. The reel's all right. It's nothing spectacular, but it ain't a bad reel either. I mean. Those reels cost me £99 each when they first come out. Um, and you can't fault them. Yeah, they've got some marks on the spool. I've got the same mark as anyone else. If you just use them on a light sandy beach and don't put them through any effort, they don't get that mark on them, they're fine. I damaged mine when I went fishing to the Lake District at Salton Bay. Uh, yanking some, uh, yanking some of the uh, stuff back. Um, obviously, put the reel under stress. But then I could have had the reel spill too tight, couldn't it? But yeah, cracking reel. Um, I'm looking forward to using me fathoms again. I could use one, but I'm not putting different reels on. Absolutely beautiful day. These are the days. Shane was saying that these are the days that um, in winter time you wish for a hot sunny day. And uh, he's spot on there because uh, I'm exactly the same. And I'm sure everybody else is as well. Anyway, I'm gonna put my eye drops in. It says it's 2%, but I haven't felt it work yet. But then it did build up, so I'm gonna Put these in and then I'm gonna have a think about what rig to use next. I will probably use I don't know. I've got a fancy rig to try. Might use a pulley dropper. I don't know, I'm gonna have a think. Might just chuck a two hook flapper out and uh, small hooks and let's get a fish. This I've blanked three times now. Um, in the last fishing video at the Humber, I hope people appreciate that or enjoy it um, it was a totally new learning curve for me I've now got all the gear so when I go back again it's gonna be a bit different it'll be a bit more professional but I didn't know what I was going into and within half an hour I'd learn I'd learn everything really still be things that you don't know but yeah I'm more uh, savvy and uh, will be a bit more professional as well yeah, I've got things I want to talk about. But I'll probably talk about them later. I mean, yesterday I was going to have a huge run. I'd have been pacing up and down this beach, but... Wife says, is it worth it? And she's probably right. But you never know. I could trip over a stone, couldn't I? Stub my toe. Um, drop my squid on the floor and I'll lose my temper. So uh, I might have a rant then, so...
Oh, Shane caught me line. It's all in the sand now, getting napped. Right, well, what you saw there was, I'll just give you a brief interlude, is Shane reeled in and uh, it was obviously over my line. Um, I cast one out to the left and held bottom, cast out dead straight and that held bottom. But it's just the way things is, isn't it? So I couldn't cast to the left because I, my one that I cast to the left like I have now just held bottom. So uh, there's a little bit of weed. Um, Scott saved the day. Shane didn't have to sacrifice any of his... Uh, um, Oh, what's that cotton called? Anyhow, you know that cotton stuff. Braid. And uh, so, yeah, all's good. So I'll bait this up. I'll stick another bit of prawn on. Bait elastic, get on, chuck it out. Well, I've just cast it out. I walked all the way down. You have to walk 25 yards and then reel in. Um, but I only had one rod to deal with because the other rod was ready to cast out. So I've got two baits out there now. I'm now going to have to take my bucket, tripod and my bait because I need to fish down there now. It's going to go out four or five times what is there from what I remember. So um, I think Scott's on a walk looking for crabs. And uh, yeah, what I just want to quickly say, I was going to have a who's rant, but I'm not going to have a rant because I'm not giving it the air time. Um, <clears throat> I've calmed down now, basically. Uh, but yeah, someone in my last video put a comment that they wanted to put. And um, their comment was um, that I ruined a good video through mooning or as he put ranting i mean i don't think that guy knows what a rant is because many people say they've had a rant and i think well they've just raised the voice a little yeah i've ranted a few times one being at mog's eye with the digger driver where i was very angry that's a bloody rant moaning and just voicing your opinion of what you like on a beach and what you, how you like a beach, which is my opinion, um, that's up to me, mate. And if you want to interpret that as moaning or ranting, that's up to you. Yes, that video had a lot of uh, what I would class as me going on, moaning, whatever, so be it. But that's me. That's what my channel's about. My channel is what I do. It's my choice it's how i fish it's what i say what i do if i'm jarred off by the drive-in i will say it because that's me 
what you see is what you get. Now I could say warts and all, but I'm not gonna, because I've just said it. But then again, I can do that because it's my video. If said particular person don't like me moaning, don't like me ranting, and don't like me being who I am, then don't watch the videos, mate. Do one and bugger off. Could swear, but I'm not gonna. But Tom will bleep it out, won't he? So f I've had so many comments. A few videos back at Sutton on Sea, I was a bit miffed. It was just out of lockdown, which I adhered to, and did what I was told by Boris. And <clears throat> it took me a while to get my mojo back. And I had a lot of kind words because I was like, I don't know, I'm not jacking it in, but I could, could quite easily jack it in. And I had loads of kind words saying now we love it and enjoy it and and you know if you just get one comment like that it makes it worthwhile to come fish for me. So at the end of the day, if um, you don't like the way that I do things, um, leave a comment. I don't care. The comments up now. Anybody that wants to go back to the previous video and come and look at the comments, you'll see the comment. It's there plain as day. And I ain't bothered, yeah? This is my video for when I'm dead so my kids can see what I'm like. And they know I'm like this. And I don't suck all the blood out of parties and all the life because when I'm at a party, I'm either sat down, yapping, or drinking with people, yeah? That's what I do because I'm 53. I don't go down the disco anymore, sapping life out of parties. So there you go. I film these videos how I want to film them. There's people out there that have subscribed to my channel and thank you very much for subscribing. You all, many people watch my videos and I get many nice comments. Some people like the rants, some people like the moaning. Others, they don't comment about it, perhaps they don't, but they ain't got the audacity to say and tell me what I should do on my video, on my YouTube channel. And to all those that watch my channel, and all those that leave nice comments, and positive comments, and I've never thought I'd ever say this, because it ain't really, you know, if it bothered me, I'd get rid of the comment, wouldn't I? And pretend it hadn't happened. But that ain't me, that ain't me, because what you see is what you get. And uh, I'd just like to say thanks a lot to all of those that watch the channel, because it's a channel. I've had comments about people saying, this is what fishing is. And if you're there pulling out fish after fish out of your beach shelter, or out of your boat, or whatever else, fishing ain't like that all the time. You must have to go five or six times in a week to put one video up like that. Unless there's copious amounts of fish everywhere where I aren't. But this anyhow, thanks to everyone that watches my videos. I ain't bothered about the people that, uh, watch it and like to put a, a snarky comment and if you think I'm wound up about it no I aren't I'm just thinking about it as I'm talking about it just make me raise my voice this isn't a rant this is not a rant my rants go into explosive nuclear dimensions when I go into a rant this is me voicing my opinion well that's my opinion any some people might think it's a rant I ain't bothered and uh, I think I had to get that off my chest really to be honest I appreciate everyone I had a fantastic comment in the last video I have m many nice comments in videos but Jose or Juice I think it's Jose left a fantastic comment it don't matter he said that it don't matter that I don't catch fish if I catch a fish it's a bonus he enjoys watching my videos just for watching me having a fishing session on a beach and that's what I film I can't go running around um, going yahoo yippee casting out reels going woo and all this stuff I go and me some people do that some people are like that perhaps they're the life and soul of the party I'm not this is what I do and many people have subscribed to my channel and enjoy my channel and I also get more views than my uh, subscribers, so perhaps there's a 
there's an option to push that subscribe button I'll oh, just get that in yeah so if you haven't subscribed push the subscribe button click the bell leave a comment I always answer sometimes if I'm busy I'll answer at night time or the next day um, or when I wake up um, yeah and leave a thumbs up or thumbs down mate you know you know who you are I ain't bothered really not bothered YouTube algorithm still knocks it out as a, as a positive I believe and if they don't know who cares you know when I started doing this YouTube I've told you before I did it so there was a record of me on the on this planet and the wife for the children there's not much as much with the wife but she does come with me and she is in my videos so uh, and that's what it's all about I then said to Tom when it started getting a big channel so it'd be great if we get a few quid because it'll go towards diesel and a bit of bait um, but it is a food quid but you know it all helps out so doesn't cover it but it helps out and that's all I was interested in and that's what I've got so anything on top of that is an improvement is a bonus but yeah to all those that do like it and me waffling on rabbiting on repeating myself moaning groaning ranting you know that's the channel and you know it's the channel because you watch it subscribe to it and brilliant if you don't like that go watch a different channel and like I say thank you to all my subscribers all the latest subscribers I think when the last video went up I was on 2,799 <laughs> and it seems to take a long while to click over to get it then when you used to get to two before the next 10 it used to click over and go to the next 10 and show it on there but it don't anymore for some reason and uh, yeah I watched an Inglorious the other night they have a good channel yeah I was watching Inglorious the other night and Inglorious said that um, subscribers um, have got a lot slower and uh, and I think even Danny would say that subscribers have become a lot slower as well. It's uh, certainly taken a bit longer to get them. And that could just be the fact that lockdown is out for the minute, but I think it's coming again. People are enjoying themselves, aren't they? They've got more important things to watch than some boy from Norfolk on a beach in Yorkshire, moaning and groaning. So, uh, yeah, this has been a bit long now, hasn't it? I'm sure Tom will edit some, mate. Anyhow, I'm not going to say how it was, but because I ain't interested. But it's there in the video of the previous video. And it's, uh, I'm not removing it. I don't remove anything. The only comment I removed, I had one, somebody doing something in a live. And I had about 10 came up comments just going down. And uh, that was gotten rid of. But who cares? Leave it on. If they keep doing it, then get rid of them. So I'm going to go down to my rods now. Take take two. I'm going to go down to my rods now with my bait bag and consider coming back for my seat. Don't know that I am, but I might do. I have got both reels on ratchet. They're both casted out. There is a little bit of weed, nothing major. I'll tell you something else that I can't with it. Uh, let me turn this off. Whilst I was driving here, Whilst I was driving here, let me just straighten that up. Yeah. Whilst I was driving here, um, to get onto the motorway, I was like, what on earth is this car doing in front? And it slowed right down and then went right on the opposite side of the road. The car behind backed off and I had to back off. Anyway, I overtook the car in front of me that backed off and this car was still messing about swaying about slowing down whoa right over drove past some old person in it don't know what 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 she was doing absolutely unbelievable and then i got into hull 
driving through Hull and there's numerous roundabouts and I kid you not, I'm on a dual carriageway, it's dual carriageway all the way through Hull. I was on a dual carriageway, big roundabout, I think Albert Dock was to the right. And this car come round and on our two lanes here, you've got two lanes there, a barrier and two more lanes. And I was coming up to the roundabout and this car turns into my road, literally turns into my road and then stops. So I drive round it. Oh, I don't believe it. And she's there, the person's just there looking gormously and there's cars coming and absolute nightmare. Where do these drivers come from? Where did he come from? I had another one at another village on the way. There was three. Just stopped in the middle of the road because this road was blocked. But could have pulled into that road because you would turn, they were turning right. So I had to do a lot of spaghetti junction around that to get out of the way because coming down the road was a wide load. But instead of getting out of the way so the wide load can carry on and go round and go, they just block everything up <laughs> when they could just pull over it and pull over near the verge. But yeah, I'm going down to my rods, taking my bait with me. I'm going to do this finger stuff because it might make me look cool and happy and uh, and with it, you know. So I'm going to do this because then I might look like a geezer. So uh, yeah, and then I'll think about taking my box down, I think. Well, Shane got to show us. Shane's caught. Not Scott, Shane. <laughs> so how do you feel about that then, Shane? Out of the three of us, oh. here we all are. Over the moon. Over the moon? Absolutely over the moon, I can go home now. I'll He's over the moon. moon. You're going home? <laughs> I've right, done no. my bit. Long walk for you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what he's done. Yeah. Wow. When you cut... Oh, has it got both of them in? I brought both of them in, yeah, with the busted heels. Uh, These Shane Begbies, you know, they keep bringing in each other's lines <laughs> and mine. But Shane's caught a fish. Sorry for eating the cheese sandwich. Yeah. Can't you untangle that? Oh, yeah. bloody hell. You might need a bit more water in that bucket, Shane, if you catch it at Codlin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's unless the um, army sniper gets it first, because he's at that end of the beach yet again. Not looking good for me at the end, is it? I snuck that one in while Scott was eating, you see, so... There he is. Gills are moving, breathing. Nice to see. Beat the blind. Are you doing the release? I am, mate, yeah. Shall we do the release together, Shane? Do the release together, eh? Hey? Team effort. <laughs> well, I don't know about team effort. I ain't done a lot. That water's still going out, though. Yeah. Well, well done, Shane. Thank you very no blank for uh, you or us as a group. There it goes. Back to the Sargato Sea. Yeah. Might loiter around there for a few decades. <laughs> well, that was good. Did you see that? Was it that boat? It that was you... that boat. I knew it. I knew it was there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know them bites, mate. Well, that's great, isn't it? I think I've got the wrong end of the uh, beach. <laughs> I always fish in the middle. 
You see, I had to go back and get my wellies because like a numpty, I was walking across the cliff top where the field is and uh, I had me uh, Longsdale shoes on that I used for work and I thought to myself, I ain't got my wellies on. You plonker. So I ended up going back and missed all the prime spots of the beach, didn't I? But we'll get some up. We're up for it. We're gonna catch. I'll decide what bait to put on there. I might put another prawn on, put a bit of prawn on. See, the main fishing tonight is going to be later on, obviously, as the tide floods in. You can catch off a low water, you can catch at any stage of the tide. Put this on. If you've got something out there, I'll take it. Put the tail on. Put this brawn here. Push on that. I'm sorry about uh, going on about someone putting a sh comment on. Um, just had to be said. Um, I was going to really 
feel mental, but I've calmed down since yesterday. Anyhow, that just means that anybody that don't like that sort of thing are now gone, aren't they? So, more feel them because it's a good, nice day. It's going to be a nice session. Shane's already caught. Scott will catch because he always does. Well, he didn't catch when he went with me to the Humber, but then neither did I. So. Right. Drawing the end. Now, I ain't going to chuck this one out far. I'm literally. Or should I? Well, I don't chuck out far in yet. My mate Alan's coming to teach me the cast, hopefully in July, on the Humber. So, um, look forward to it. Just hope I ain't dragging it through the mud. cast was weird um, the weight was spinning in the air so I don't know sometimes your weight sometimes your weight the genie clip can sometimes get in an angle and uh, your weight will not hang straight so I could have been that because I had it on the beach I didn't come unhooked though well, let's hope it's fishing um, but yeah it's out now Too much yapping and new fishing, that's what it is. Look, this is what this is what I think happened to my weight here. Look, you see with this clip, see with that clip there, how it's gone in on the thing. So when that was going out, it was going like this. And uh, I saw that it didn't go out half as far as what it should do. Doing too much yapping. <laughs> Having a nice chat, there's three of us there. We're all good mates. We all like to have a good laugh. And uh, yeah, I think we're doing too much, too much um, yapping and not enough fishing. But it's because it's going down to low and I don't think there's a lot about it apart from Shane's eel, but. Let's get this casted out. We'll cast in this gully here. You see where them waves are breaking? That's another sandbank. Um, I ain't gonna get over that. I'm going to drop it into this gully. It's quite deep. Um, Shane's, Scott's just been into it up to his uh, waist and uh, he then turned back, so it must be getting deeper. Look at Scott, he's wading out in his waders, look.
How about that then? <laughs> Dedication. It's the name of the game. So yeah, <coughs> tide is there now. And I put these lines here in the sand. That was touching the water. So uh, yeah, gone out about another eight meters, but the tide has now turned. Tide will be coming in now. So I'm changing the bait on the next one and I'm really not gonna chuck it out far. Um, I chucked that one too far. It was just where the waves were breaking. And uh, I didn't want to be out there. I wanted to be in the middle, but donut really. But then the rig is it. It's, there's no fish. This is sea trout, <coughs> sea trout, it's just trout. Um, what Graham Pullum used, and I'm trying some on some small hooks, small bit, because my knife's down there to cut a fill it off. But it's so slimy. So slimy, unbelievable. Who'd want to catch these? <laughs> Bloody stink as well. We'll stick you there and let's see if we can get just a lob out. All rebaited up, so we've got um, lugworm on one, and we've got trout on the other. <clears throat> so I've cut the tail off because I haven't got my knife with me to take a fillet off. So I can now get two fillets off that fish, two more casts. But by God, it's slimy. I might actually wash it in the seawater in my bucket. So we've got one out short, probably 30 yards. The other one, they go Shane Carson. He must be into the surf. 
Yeah, I'm just hoping there's some fish in there. This water's going to come back because that's what water does. It goes out and comes in. And uh, just got to watch this gully. Um, but there'll be no problem going through that. And then the serious fishing starts. Probably should have been serious fishing, but we've just been yapping and talking and uh, having a good time. So, uh, I don't know where, uh, Scott's over there. He's probably getting his barbecue going. He's got sausages. And uh, how many burgers and sausages he brought? Just enough for his orange pockets. Just <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's just brought enough for himself. Yeah. I don't think we're going to get a look in van. That's why I brought my pot noodle. Yeah, and I've got them dog eating sandwiches. Yeah, well, I've got them and all. Should we do a trade off? Well, I could go back to the van and get some uh, warm up. We might ring a pizza from with. <laughs> Is it the cliff top? <laughs> <laughs> Oh but yeah, you know the pillbox, don't you? Just go across there, don't fall though, because you'll lose our topping. <laughs> yeah. Just shout from the pillbox. Dude, Remy is. I can't believe he brought it either. That's not his barbecue, he's starting to fire now. Oh, is he? Yeah. yeah. How is he doing that then? He's yeah. bushcraft man. He's rubbing two sticks together. Been rubbing some, eh? <laughs> Has he had a bottle of petrol or something? <laughs> That's what he's been doing up and down, isn't he? See, we thought Scott was going up and down shouting any old iron, oh, but he he's it? been getting driftwood for his fire. He's got a bag full of. It looks like he's just come from Aldi. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. I, I thought I had enough to carry, but he had food and barbecue. Yeah. I might bring a barbecue, I mean, that's It's a good idea, isn't they it? They aren't heavy, are mm. they? And burgers and sausages. I mean, it's a good job I like them burn. <laughs> I hope he's got a burger for us. He'll be watching this back now in four weeks time. He'll be chuckling. Be going, there them. weren't no burgers for you. I can't believe he's not on the game, is he? He's not at them rods no, like he normally is. He 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 he's got a sixth sense. He I don't know what them. it is, but he's he got it. <laughs> I've got one out just before the surf. Yeah, so I mean, I've just dropped that one in there, yeah. You, yeah, you went yeah. in it, did you? Just, just before. Right, yeah, I was that just before. There. And I've got one out. I'm going to try and launch this one. I've can. got one out two thirds. So, and that, that's trout. Got a yeah, I've got to cut the yeah. tail off. Slippery as hell, hell in it. Yeah. Like, it's not an eel. Well, that last... Is that what trout are like when you catch them then? Slippery like that? I can't remember being like that. I've for years, but well, you know me, I don't catch them. Well, catch you them. they've probably been frozen and frozen and... Yeah. But that last bite I got was on that squid stuff with that monkey frozen black water. Yeah. I got Scott casting out in the water. Him, yeah, yeah, I saw him waving out and I walked right over with the camera and got, got him. Belly full. He went back there and he had to dry up a bit. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to walk all the way I to that walked. sandbank, but he must know that it's getting deeper and it ain't going up yet and he's at his limit. Well, I thought he was on his way to Holland to get me some cheap tobacco, but. Look at that smoke, that's all going to blow down my end. It's not only content as he got fishing to the right again, Ben. He's going to need it. Yeah, smoke, and Scott's fishing to the right again. And now he's smoking us out for fishing there, for having the fire. Hey, you don't think he's not fishing to give us a chance, do you? Are these your torpedo bombs? No, that's just a big squid. Oh, right. <laughs> Oh yeah, you know they're big. Aren't they? I've had to cut them in half. I can't. I can't Is go. that for a tooth? I can't go flinging them out. I mean, they're stuffed with old monkey. It's got the eyes on it still. Yeah, and I'll put the head on and wrap. Where's these hermit crabs? Are they dead then? Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't buy out the lab. I can't. No, no. I can't. <laughs> I quite like hermit crabs. I think they're knobby things. Oh, 
All right. And how much are they? Three quid. Three quid for them? Like yeah. yeah. Why don't you buy more? That's the only ones they have left. <laughs> well, I was watching on YouTube and somebody yeah. says you cut me in half. Did you use yeah, the top no, that's huge, mate. You don't want to put all that on. Well, you said you don't want to use the edge, you just use the bottom. That's fish eat all of it. You know, pick it up and mm. spit it out. Yeah, and yeah. Take it to. Take the shell off and set the lungs yeah. out, doesn't it? Yeah. Cut it in half and just put it on the. Oh, you got a bite! 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 I think he's got a bite. See, I've passed that. I'm over here yapping again, look, and I'm not fishing. I'm fishing for Shane now. This is where I normally fish in the middle, because I'm like the piggy in the middle. But today, no. Fern's not there. I'm going to get in between the pair of them. Oh. Muscle them out of the way. Is it on there? Is it smooth, round? It's a toop. <laughs> no, that was a bite. It was on the go all the while. Did you strike into it? Yeah. You need to pull the lips off. Make sure. Yeah, you ain't got a fish. You got an eel. Well, how come you're getting them all? Can't we share them about? I don't want to catch any of the rain. Ah, oh, that's it. It's just turned to catch in here. Yeah. Look at that. Look at this here. Look at this here. Is that a conga? <laughs> no, it's not a conga. <laughs> it's a jelly deal. And I'll tell, you, hey, I'll tell you something else at Int, and that's a European eel. It's a bloody a green or silver eel. Yeah. And, wheeler, and, wheeler. and that's what it is. Hey, that's nicely hooked and all. That'll go back, all right. All right, that one. Hey. My dad was here now. My dad's a cockney. Yeah, he'll work. Uh, yeah. He'd be slavering now. <laughs> <laughs> we no, used to we used to catch eels, those eels out the river, but they used to be like three foot long oh, yeah. and as thick. And we used to nail them on a post, skin them, and then my dad would jelly them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I couldn't eat them. Ah, oh, my well, dad well. used to go certain out. I was skewed up eating them. When yeah. we were kids, we used to fish in uh, Prince's Dock in Hull. Used to get eels out of there and flatties, and there was mankey. There was yeah, warts yeah. on them and all sorts. Honestly, yeah. I used to take them on to me, Dad. Oh. Was that down that road you was telling me about? That's where Prince's Key is now. Oh right, not that other road then with warts and all that on them. Oh no 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 no, that's Hessel Road. That's Hessel Road. That's, 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 that's it. And he used to take the eels and the flatties home, and he used to cook them up, boil them, and whatever, and take his teeth out. He takes his teeth out. And he sucks the eel off the bone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, mate, he's a good face. Ah, uh, stop it, you will blend in it out there. Okay. Nice little eel going back. That'll zoom off. Let's get the release. Gone. She's gone now. Must have known my dad was on his way. As <laughs> soon as he heard the word cockney, <laughs> yeah. that eel was going. <laughs> All gone. There you go, Shane's got two now. Scott's got none. <clears throat> And uh, I've got none. Yeah. Is that a fire or a barbecue? That's a small big fire. It's a small in control fire. There's all stones around it and there's a little yeah. bit. And now my dinner's going on. I'll tell you what we'll do, Scott. We'll chuck my bucket of water on at the end of the night. Get rid of the smoke, get all the rubbish. 
so that's what we'll do. Well, Anyhow, that, that's this. I've got to change uh, this battery now. Chicken, chicken and, uh, A turbot, caught a bloody turbot. It's engulfed the hook though. Two minutes. I need to uh, just leave him in there a minute and I need to go down and get that first hook out. Cut that out and pull the other one out. So I reeled that fish in there and I thought to myself then, I thought I've got a little tiny ray. It looked like a ray in the water over it and then when I lift it up I thought oh, it's, it's a dab. Chuffed the bits, nearly then said it's only a dab because everyone says that. But then when I got it back to air because I didn't look at it, I wanted to get it unhooked and in the bucket. It was a turbot, and let me show you.
Little baby turbot, look. It swallowed two hooks, engulfed them down. So I cut the line and got rid of the panel hook, went through the gill like Billy on Fish Who does, where I learned it from. And uh, yeah, went through, grabbed hold of the trout because I knew I'd last the, the hook on it, pulled it through the gill, pushed it out through its mouth. Turbot's still going, he's still all right, so. We'll return him. What I'll do is I shall get these because I forgot to bait up my previous bait because I've been chatting to them. Because that's what you do when you were your mates. Um, just try and draw all the energy out of everybody. So uh, what I'm going to do is turn the U off, chuck these out so I'm fishing, and then I'm going to return the turbot. So he's having a breather in there, he's perfect, right? I've just changed that water. I've just chat up scary. I've just changed that water. So I'm right excited, I ain't blanked. So the blanks are finished. This would have been the fourth blank. But and, and I haven't blanked and I caught a turbot. Well that's the second turbot. Second turbot I've caught. And uh, first one on camera. Absolutely can't believe it. I mean, it's nothing like what Danu catch on Inglorious Fishing, but for our waters, for what's left in there and for how far we can cast out, I mean, that's quite, I'm trying to pull my glove off, sorry for the jerkiness. It's a bloody good fish. So we'll get that returned and then I'll sort that rig out that I should have had sorted out. I'll put you here where it looks okay. There it is. One little turbot. Can we see that on there? Yeah. One little turbot. So I've unhooked it. I'm now returning it. Thank you very much. When I chucked him in, he went belly up, but only because I chucked him that way. But he's gone. He's not there. He was swimming around in the bucket. He's not anywhere down the shore. Yeah, look, see, he's gone. He was so deeply hooked and uh, just wanted to get him unhooked really. Shane tried to unhook him but then realised it was deeply hooked and I said just leave it I'll get him with my forceps which I did. So yeah I've got to sort this rig out now. I've got to cut the hooks off. Um, just retie them on and then let's uh, just cast out another piece of tail off a trout. Wind's picking up a lot it's supposed to quieten down as sort of like one two in the morning so hopefully that will come true but yeah no blank today and i've caught a prime fish only little only the size of a side plate for bread and butter but still a turbot still fantastic all right shane
nothing on the hooks. It's uh, it's it's doom and gloom. Got me rig on there now that I caught the turbo on. I re-tied the hooks on, and we've got trout on it again because that seems like that's the bait that's working. Yeah, I caught a fish. Caught, you're asleep, aren't you? Give it that wind power turbine! <laughs> Jesus! Get yourself a furry. <laughs> Fly like a tank. Oh, it's all sinky, yeah. Right, well, I'm back out. I've got trout on all hooks now. We're going out for trout because it's that slimy, oily and slippery. I don't want to take it them. <laughs> so I am fishing trout now until it's gone. We're now coming up onto this bank. So what might happen now is it might slow down because we, we're, I'm a poor caster. Come on, Alan, sort me out. So, uh, yeah.
Right, so we've got a uh, we've got a peeler crab on now, and we're just going to chuck it out 30 yards into the gully. No more than 20, no more than 30, and a uh, little gentle lob. See what's out there. Just reeled in. Prawn was on it, and uh, so the baits aren't disappeared. I was still fishing. Let's get it out. reel this one in and uh, I've got another rig baited up and then I can get my coffee going. Right. Still had baits on it. I think that's hot enough for coffee, don't you? That's my drinking vessel. So we'll lift this off the boil. And we will... Uh... We will go right. Just be a man about it.
I've got two more rigs to bait up. Well, one's baited up already. I did chuck that out very long ago. Um, and it's got prawn on. And uh, the prawn is still on it. So I might tip that off with some squid or something. Have a bit of squid hanging off it. So that can go out again. And the other rig, there's not a lot on that. A bit of prawn, which will get took off. And I shall bait up, probably put some fish on. So after I've drunk this, I'm going to prep up my trout fish. And, uh, yeah, once the trout fish is um, all prepped, I'll just take the knife and take the fillets off. That'll give me six casts. that in me flask and that will keep. Well, Scott's just caught us um, a bat, but we had to wake him up and he was staggering around everywhere and uh, didn't know which rod, got caught up in his rod, managed it down to the shoreline, reeled it in and he had a, a good sizable bass. So he's had a bass, Shane's had two eels and I've had my turbot. It's been absolutely dead. It is freezing cold. It says it's 14 degrees, but it feels colder than 14 degrees. Um, but 14 degrees in that one. I've now got my coat on, on top of my smock, hoodie, t-shirt, and my uh, mustard top, and I am cold. I've been laying on the beach in the, uh, on top of it, two bags and this coat before I put it on and I've had about an hour's tossing and turning can't get to sleep but I think I've dozed but Scott has dug a hole out in the beach he's a right proper bear grills and he's got a fire next to him with bricks around it keeping him warm um, and he was asleep so let's get these reeled in check them get them baited up with some trout prepared and let's get us a bass eh? Nothing on that, but never mind.
What can I say? We've now got, nearly fell over my bucket. We've now got two new baits out. I've got two rigs to bait up. Um, might change one of them, but I don't think I will actually. Just got pain through my elbow, absolute burning pain. So I hope I don't get that again. I guess I will. Scott's on fire now, he's now loading up and baiting out again. Um, it is cold, I've been asleep or trying to. Don't think I got much if, if it was five minutes. Um, Shane's knee hurts, he's cold and uh, was getting cramped up on his box. Yeah, it's um, like an autumn day which is a bit chilly and uh, it's not nice. Um, when we were at Tunstall, did we fish through the night at Tunstall? I think we did, didn't we? And when we fished here at Hompton, the weather obviously was warmer and it was pleasant all through the night, even though at Hompton it rained for a little bit, but yeah, tonight's totally different and uh, yeah, it's the cold that's not good. So. I'll get these baited up. The time now is 3.40. AM. So uh, in an hour's time, it'll be daylight. So in half an hour, we'll start getting some light, hopefully, which will make us feel a bit rejuvenated. Seven minutes to sunrise, but we ain't gonna see it because of the cloud cover. Well, thought Shane had a bite then, but he's uh, got his line and the rod's banging, so. Scott's got his fire going. He's had that fire going all night. And he's got it going again with some tissues. My wife, and sometimes me have to use about half a newspaper to get our cool fire going at them. Scott can get a sleeper going with a tissue. It's been a great night. Scott's been asleep most of it. When we woke him up for his fish, he didn't even know where he was. He was staggering about. He didn't know what rod to get. He didn't know where he was. I would now wish I'd gone back and got my camera before we woke him up, but he had a bite, so we went, took a steady stroll over there and uh, woke him up. I had to shout him four times. Shane was shouting him. So it's uh, it's been a hard night again. Um, fantastic that we caught the turbot. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, you, I suppose you get them, don't you? At least we haven't blanked. Shane's had the two eels. I've had a turbot. And Scott's had a bass now, so. We've got this here, this sandbank. It goes on a lot more than that. But I shall be on there in a minute. And uh, we'll be casting in the next gully because there's another gully and then there's another sandbank. So uh, you never know, might catch some more fish there. Scott's already out there and uh, I'm gonna follow. So uh, next time you see me, well, you, I'll tell you what, let's go out now, shall we?
Well, it's sunrise now at, well, it's 4.35. And, uh, yeah, so we made it through the night. It's got to be the worst night for morale fishing that I've ever done. It just got cold. There was nothing to actually make you excited about watching your rods. <sighs> And I just tried to get some sleep on the beach. I laid some bags down in this coat and laid on it, and it was uh, nigh on impossibility. But I had a lay down, so I guess I had a rest. So let's get this bait casted out into that gully and let's see if we can catch something else while we go. Time is, we'll check in a bit, I suppose.
Well, chaps, we'll start with you, Shane. How's it been at Hompton on this fine fishing session that we've done together? Nah, pretty good, actually. I've exercised a ghost of last time, so... Caught uh, two eels, didn't you? Two eels, yeah. I mean, Good bite. Bite, not a bite. No. A van bite. Well, <laughs> maybe a Scott bite. Maybe a Scott bite. Scott, Scott's just and how, himself. Yeah, and how did you get on, Scott? How did you feel when you saw your rod bouncing around in the early hours of the morning? I was just like, no, not like, I wasn't allowed to bed. <laughs> oh, right. You mean you was already in bed? Yeah, because Shane saw the actual bite, didn't you, Shane? I saw the actual bite. And I forgot to get my camera to film it. But there you go, we took a picture, didn't we? Yeah, that's okay. I think the best part was when Scott sort of tried to get up, didn't know where he was. <laughs> no, he is. <laughs> no, he was on another planet, mate. Yeah. I was imagining it was that other bike. You thought you was in that bike shop? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. When you when you took it into it. <laughs> so when will it kick in then this catching of the bass? Later on when I wake up. Just as he's squeezing the lever. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's been hard going on. It's been it's been a proper hard session. It, it's, uh, I've said on camera already that it was absolutely morale sapping it was, it was weren't yeah. it? Because I can't think, I can't think of anything else apart from, I think Hardcore's had a bit of a day off fishing to be yeah. honest yeah. because he's yeah. done more bushcraft, more hunting for crabs, weights, driftwood, you name it, any old iron, he's been looking for it, haven't you? Is that a new channel? Yeah, yeah. Bushcraft. Foraging on the beach. Yeah. But yeah, it's been okay. It's been, um, it's just been absolutely. It's not, it, it's not been depressing, has it? it has, no, it's just, it's just that, sapped all our energy, it's hasn't it? Been that good, hasn't it? And it's been cold. Cold in bloody July. Yeah. Well, the sun come up, didn't it? Yeah, it warmed yeah. us up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could do without having any sun for the next two weeks for the May arm sunburn. <laughs> I've lost all my baby features. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, lads, I'd just like to apologise if I've sucked any energy out of you through my depressing moaning and groaning and ranting and please don't go home and uh, take it out on the wives because I've, I've sapped all your energy because apparently that's what I do on my channel I just soak all the energy out of people yeah we was worried that we was a little bit too close on the beach here, yeah so. yeah they told me to go down to Tunstall Oh, just one more fish would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, I'll wrap it up. Literally casting into this next gully, because we can't reach the one after.
Well, that's the pen mag freeze. Good reel. We've got them some issues, but nothing major. Um, I did lose my line down the uh, side of the spool early in the hours of the morning. Um, but yeah, worked a dream. A couple of overruns, as you do get with a multiplier, but pulled out easily. The M Sport Power Elite Power, fantastic rod, love it. Can't wait for Alan to teach me how to cast. Should be happening in July. If it's not July, hopefully it'll be August. But, fantastic rods, fantastic reels for the money. Mind you, they've gone up in price now. They were £99 when I bought them. Um, and that's it. Now my rigs are spinning around and getting tangled up, so I'll have that to untangle now. So yeah, if you got this far, thank you very much. And as I said earlier, like and subscribe if you like the channel. It's been a great day at Hobden. Um, we've got to go up that cliff yet. It looks vertical, but it isn't. But it's uh, quite a steep climb, and I forgot my lad, me. Um, spade to dig out some footsteps so i went up there earlier with a stick and carved some in that were a bit better for us but yeah thanks for uh getting this far if you have and i'm going now and i'm not waffling on so thank you very much for watching see you in the next one See you, Shane. See you, Scott. <laughs> Sorry for shouting, Tom. Sorry for shouting to the world. <laughs> See you later.